Hey! Hey, welcome back to what Jack has made. In this video, we're going to be going over how to register a custom taxonomy for your posts or your custom post types in WordPress and how to expose the custom taxonomy in your GraphQL schema. So I've got a couple of blog posts that I've made recently, which are just sort of like follow up articles for the YouTube series I've been producing, which you're watching now. And I kind of thought it'd be cool if I could sort of tie all of these posts together to um, categorize them all within their own sort of series taxonomy. So, you know, I could do this by creating a new category and calling it Gatsby and WordPress 2019, but it doesn't really feel appropriate. It's not really a category, but it's a type of classification and it's something that I want to use to group these posts together. So this is where a custom taxonomy might come into play. And there's a great website I found called gener generatewp.com and you can generate your own custom taxonomy using the um, generator. And I've gone ahead and popped in a taxonomy key. Um, we'll put taxonomy series. And then I've just given a singular name, a plural name, what post type I want it to be applied to, which would be blog posts. And then whether or not it would act like a tag or a category. And in this case, I'd like it to act like a category. So when I run up, up, update code, we get a, uh, a new snippet being generated for us. And once we've got this, we can go ahead and copy it and jump into our functions.php file within our WordPress theme. And then I normally add it just straight after the register custom post types because I feel like it's linked to the post types. It's a taxonomy relating to posts. And we'll remove the add action and remove the function name because we're just going to call it within our register custom post type function. Um, you can separate these if you want, but I'm just going to keep it all in one, one place. Um, just sort out the indentation. Cool. So now if I go ahead and save this, when we go back to our WordPress dashboard and refresh, you see we now have this taxonomy underneath posts. I guess that is correct, but I kind of, I don't want it to show up as the taxonomy. I want it to show up as series. Um, and we'll, we'll change the comment to custom series taxonomy. And we'll give this another refresh and it should come up as series. There we go. And now I can create a new taxonomy name, so or object for that matter, and we'll call it um, Gatsby and WordPress 2019. And we can give it a slug, and we'll leave it the description out for now. Click Add New Item, and we now have Gatsby and WordPress 2019 available to us. So when I go back over to my posts. Now we have the series. Well, I guess that could be a series, really. Uh, I don't know. It depends if you could have multiple. And then when I click quick edit, you see we can go in and say Gatsby. Um, oh, wait. It's down by here under tags. That's a bit weird layout. If I click update, now we have it linked into our taxonomy. And we can do the same for the rest of them. We'll just do two for now. And that's great. Now we have this taxonomy, which is helping link these two um, blog posts together. And if we go into our GraphQL schema and explore it using graphical, what you should notice at first when you try and query is that we can go You'll notice that series doesn't show up. And if we go into posts and nodes, then we still don't have a way of querying based on the series that they're grouped in. So our taxonomy is useful in our dashboard, but we can't actually use it in any sort of like GraphQL environment. But if we go back into our functions.php file and we copy these three fields from 
our register custom post type and bring it down to our arguments array for our taxonomy. We paste these in and indent them. You'll need showing GraphQL to be true, so it shows up in our GraphQL schema, and then giving a, the taxonomy a singular and a plural name. So we'll just copy the ones that we've already used for our custom taxonomy registration. And if we save that, go back into our GraphQL schema and refresh. Then what this should do is it should raise the fields in our schema so that we can query using the taxonomy. And so now you can see series is and series. Again, I, I'm not too sure on what the uh, plural and singular name for series is. I Googled series is and it didn't return any suggestions in Google. So I just went with it. Um, and now we can query the nodes underneath this taxonomy and we can query the posts and get back each title. And so now we should get back to blog posts, which we do. Um, the title string isn't decoded, but essentially these are the two posts that we just added to our custom taxonomy. And what you can do with this now is we could say, show us the name of each taxonomy and then show us the posts. So I could basically create a page now using this JSON data to say, this is the title of the course. And these are the um, videos or posts that live with under this series. So this was just a quick video on how to, you know, register a custom taxonomy for your posts and then surface it in GraphQL or WP GraphQL. And in the next video, I'm actually going to be using this data to generate a series component that I will be able to use in my Gatsby project.